Good morning, even afternoon, uh, VegBox customers. Um, I thought I'd make a little video um, just so you have more of an idea about what's going on in the garden for us and really aware that, as I've said in the emails, there are less uh, vegetables available. However, I would like you to get excited about some of the veggies we've got started here that you're going to be receiving soon. So I'm just going to give you a wee tour of the garden. So I'll just turn this round. Right. So we've got here, they're very small, but we've got various leaves for our, our salad bags. There's some uh, little baby chards growing here. Um, this is the summer purslane and the American land cress. And over here we've got some another type of cress as well. So there's some old chard in that bed there. Now come and see what's along here. I'm hoping you're gonna like this. I've been very, very busy sowing a lot of seeds. Look at that. So a whole load of stuff has been planted out already, but you can see here the these are pumpkins and squashes. They, they're going to be potted on and then planted out. We've got calabrese. They're going to go out soon. Um, some courgettes. Remember the taste of courgettes. These are the pea shoots that I've been growing for you, which uh, have been going into the salads. Uh, there's some climbing and French beans there. Look at the basil, the basil's tiny it grows so slowly and it was um it was sown so just trying to see the date there uh, they were sown a bit late uh 15th of april um so i'm going to try and get those into the polytunnels along with the tomatoes so lots going on in here let's see what else is happening in the garden into the field shelter the packing sheds and we've got Will doing the packing, packing your bags. Say hi, Will. Just putting the eggs in at the moment. There's all your bags lined up uh, with lists on the front and different groups. This is our desk over here. We have um, our folders. This is what we try and order and organise for you all. And this is what actually happens. We've got other records going on as well. And our uh, invoice from Organic Pantry for the delivery. So those are those tasty tomatoes, weren't they good? And these are the aubergines that are going to go in. Yum. So let's see what else is happening. This is where we have our lunch. That's the mint room where we have a little cooker. And there's some more chard wanting to be planted out. Uh, the polytunnel, look, we've got some tomatoes going on in the polytunnel and some new rockets and a bed of parsley here. And look, our polytunnel at the end has a door now, which I'm super excited about. It didn't have a door for ages and someone's come and made a door for us, which I'm absolutely thrilled about because this tunnel used to get very hot indeed. Okay, we've got chamomile there. If anybody wants to come and pick chamomile for their tea, feel free. Um, that's an old child bed. Under the, this net, there's the Japanese greens and things like Mitsuna. Um, we have to put a net on, otherwise the flea beetle puts hundreds of holes into these. So that's what's happening there. This is where all the Welsh onions and chard have been growing another japanese green bed with a net over to prevent the flea beetle lettuce is coming along uh, this is the, this is all the chard that you've been receiving you can see how it's uh, really wanting to go to flower so it, like we're going to be cutting this again and uh, hoping that we can get a few more cuts out of it and hope that the new chard will be coming along have a look at our new exciting broad bean bed here it is lauren is just putting the 
last of the broad beans in and sending them kisses. Lauren is a intern. Do you want to say anything, Lauren, about what it's like working in the garden and being here? Uh, um, for me, it means freedom and empowerment, I think, to be able to work here. Mm. Um, the freedom to be so close to nature. And then the empowerment comes from, you know, just knowing how to produce food. I can sustain myself. That's all I need, really. Mm. Really earthy, basic needs. Mm -hmm. Thanks Lauren. And next door we have the very exciting pea bed. We've got bits of fabric wafting around to prevent the pigeons from uh, coming and eating them. And uh, Jen is just finishing off. We've put some horse manure and we're going to be um, drills like direct sowing some lettuce and Japanese greens along the edges. The peas will shade uh, uh, these plants which uh, they will like. How are you doing Jen? <laughs> I'm doing well. Jen is a volunteer that drives in on a weekly basis to help with the frontline workers of food production. How is it for you coming here Jen? Um, I just I love coming here um, just to get to hang out with really nice people in this wonderful place and just learning how to grow food it's just really inspiring um you know there's nothing like actually getting stuck in and doing it you know properly rather than just reading books so i just go at home feeling really inspired that you know it's possible to live you know more sustainably and just really enjoy it thanks you know, jen sure. i'm really regretting that i'm feeling filming you from the other side of this fence <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you look like you're in some sort of cage. <laughs> no, I am free to go at any time. <laughs> She's not really. We keep her here all week. Um, okay, so we've got a bed that's been prepared. That's going to be the Calabrese bed. Got some strawberries down there. And then remarkably, we've got um, our two uh, boys in the garden helping plant out beans. This is Joe. Joe is the person that... Uh, makes the uh, all the beautiful willow baskets. Thank you. So what are you doing here, Jo? So here, uh, we've got uh, French beans that have been sewed previously in toilet roll tubes. So as you can see, the, the, the roots do come through the toilet roll tube as they decompose. But we're just holding it in place. So it gives a nice, big, um, big space for the beans to get started in so they're a good size now and hopefully we won't get any frost uh, before they get going and climb up this permanent structure that we've got here mm. and this is perfect home education territory for our two boys <laughs> home education woo woo <laughs> <laughs> really appreciating you two coming and helping there's plenty of work to do so I'm going to try and turn this camera around now so you can see me. So I hope that gives you a bit of a flavour of uh, what we're getting up to here. We're here Tuesdays and Wednesdays and some other days as well. But if uh, any of you felt like you wanted to get some fresh air and uh, 